previously on Weedem and Reap. We had a bunch of baby goats born this year, and now that they're 10 weeks old, it's time for them to go to their new homes. My dad put an emu egg under Kiwi, our turkey, but it didn't hatch, so he decided to let her try and raise these little chicks, so hopefully it works. This summer has been filled with pond swimming and planning out all of our cute little goat herd for next year's babies. It's gonna be amazing. Well, can you believe it's already time for the babies to go to their new homes? I can't believe it. Wally is up first, and remember, Willow had triplets. She had Wally, Winston, and Winnie. We're keeping Winnie as a future doling, and we're keeping Winston as hopefully a buck for the farm and for maybe renting out. <laughs> he goes right to eating. Let him have a snack, Willow. Come on. Just one little snack, Willow. Just one little one. Here you go. <laughs> She'll smell you. <laughs> See? Goodbye, Sniff. Okay. Wally is gonna go to his new home about 20 minutes from here, but before we let him go, we have a few things that we do. He's gonna go as a pet, or what we call a weather, so we banded him a few days ago, so he effectively can't breed anymore. I also like to give them their CD&T vaccination as well as do their tattoo registration on their ears. And then finally, before we let the family come pick him up, we let him spend the day in the pasture with his mom and sister, although it's always a bit of a frenzy when we do that. <laughs> when he's gonna mount him instead. I'm so in love with the family that took Wally because they already have a few goats that they love on and I know Wally's gonna fit in. The next one to go are Duke and Daisy. I know so many of you wanted us to keep Daisy. It was such a tough decision. I almost kept her on multiple occasions, but I am really excited about her new home. She's gonna go as a milker to a new family and they live really close to us, so it might be fun to do some updates on her. Duke is gonna be weathered as well and he is going to be a pet or companion for Daisy. So they'll grow up together. Maybe in the future we'll be able to keep one of Doris's babies, but I don't think this was the year for that. So to get these two ready, we banded Duke and then gave both of them their CD and T vaccinations and their tattoo registrations. Hi. They also got to spend the day with Doris running around the family that took them home was so excited. They are such a fun family, and they have a daughter named Daisy as well. <laughs> so they're really excited. Aww. Well, are you guys gonna miss the baby goats? Yeah, but we still have four, so I think we'll be okay. We have Zorro and Winston to grow up as our bucks, and Tatum and Winnie as our does. Yep, I think we're good on baby goats for now. Welcome to morning milking on the farm. Hermione is difficult this morning. Aww, got all over her head. But once dad sings to her, she quiets down. Penny's living her best life. And now it's time to strap Willow down and milk her. Kitty. Willow is really good about not kicking anymore, so we can totally trust her around the pail. As long as we keep those front legs tied up. Yes, the ramp is back, but none of them use it when going up. They all take that chair. Oh, hurt her feelings. 
She's gonna go hang out with Minnie. Tilly, you're so patient. You're the last one every time. Here you go, look. Oh, you're making a mess. Eat those ones on the ground. <laughs> you want more now, huh? Good girl, Tilly, using the ramp like you're supposed to. It's a little bit quieter now that we only have four baby goats left. Winston and Zorro are eating their breakfast, and Tatum and Winnie are anxious to get out to their moms. After we gather the eggs, it's time to head over to the buck pen. That's a good trick, Lydia. I must have invented that. Yeah, you must have. Nellie went back to her home, so now we're just making sure that Fern is bred and Stella will be up next. Pretty soon, just a couple more weeks, we're gonna breed Stella. Are you excited? Her ears, man. Could they be They're going like two any different bigger? directions. <laughs> Those ears, you're like a little rabbit. And you got a beard? Luna, you're like knocking me over with your head. You're so big, Luna, you're too big for that. <laughs> and we finally found Mango. She's been sitting in an old tire on some unfertilized eggs that'll never hatch. Everyone likes to follow us over to the buck pen to play in the water and munch on some branches. Ugh, Hermione. And that's it. A half gallon of milk today, not too shabby. So it's time to let the baby chicks and the turkey out. We have to figure out a way that they can eat their food without the baby goats eating their food. So I've welded this cage. And so what we're gonna do is put the food in here and then the openings are too small for the baby goats to go through, but it is big enough for the little chicks to go through and eat. It works. And cats don't go through either. I love it. That's such a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that works. Yeah, they can get <laughs> they can get through it just fine. Oh, Tatum's a lot bigger than I thought. There's no way she could get in. Yeah. You're way too big. You can't fit through those holes. All right, you ready to put him out there? Um, I think maybe another day or two. They're almost oh, okay. finishing bonding completely. Okay. Just make sure that they follow her around because yeah. she needs to protect them yeah. from predators and kitties. <laughs> Welcome to my garden where everything is hanging on for dear life in this heat. I'm crossing my fingers that the cantaloupe makes it. The potatoes are looking a bit grim. I've got a bunch of carrot seeds I need to harvest. And this plant that I thought was a pumpkin is actually a butternut squash. But good news, the green beans are doing well, the zucchini is thriving, and the sweet potatoes are starting to take off. The Armenian cucumbers are starting to grow up the trellis and the corn is starting to pollinate. Today it's time to harvest the garlic. It's hard to see because they've all fallen over and died, but that's the perfect time to pull it all out. I think we have enough for the year. I have a little patch of green onions as well. Okay, a big patch. One thing I like to do is after we harvest, is to take a little bit of extra time to prep the bed again for next time I want to plant here. It's really as simple as laying out a layer of wood chips and then turning the drippers to low so that we can keep the moisture alive beneath the soil and keep the microbial life working. Despite things suffering in the heat, I've got a bunch of peppers and tomatoes. And so today in the kitchen, we're gonna make fajitas. The chicken has been marinating in just a few simple spices. And after I slice all of the peppers and onions, I chop up a little bit of garlic and add that to the chicken as well. Fajitas are such a quick dish. So if you don't have a lot of time, it's really easy to pull together. 
A friend of mine sent me a whole box of avocados from her avocado groves, so we're definitely using that tonight. I'm just gonna pan sear the chicken and lay out the spread for everybody to eat. That's the big branch you cut down for them. <laughs> well, they're gonna love that. I'll cut a piece off each day for the next four days or so. They'll love it. Luna! <laughs> She's freaking out over here, Kevin. It's the best scratching post in the world. She's freaking out. <laughs> so she looks like a robot. Thanks so much, guys, for watching today's vlog. It's so sad to see the baby goats go, but at the same time, I'm really glad that they're gonna go to good families and that they're gonna be well taken care of. If you wanna check out where last year's baby goats went, go ahead and click on this video here. Oh my gosh. All right.